most famous icons, at least in his mind, of the video gaming world is finally getting his own game on the PSP system. And it's about time. Okay, baby, I'll play along. Ever since the, um, the first um, Jack and Dexter game, actually, people have been wanting to play Dexter and to play as Dexter. He's, in my mind, the best character uh, in the series. I mean, Dexter was this fantastic character and he kind of had to ride around on Jack's shoulder for an awful long time. And now he sort of gets to take center stage. Just give me the bug juice, Pops, and make it a double. I'll hose down every creepy crawly that moves. Daxter is definitely a wiseacre. That was always kind of a contrast with Jack, who's more serious. Daxter's more crazy and fun-loving, and that's how the Daxter PSP is built. It takes extra artistic effort to create a new and improved version of a familiar character, even if that character sees himself as pretty perfect already. Everything with more than two legs start trembling, because the Daxtonator is in the building. I wanted to bring in a little more flavor because we needed Daxter to be on his own, to look great on his own now that he's without Jack. For example, we added a fur on Daxter, which was one of the great things that actually brought you know, Daxter to a different level. Daxter for PSP finds our intrepid hero on a search and rescue mission. After Jack was imprisoned at the end of the first installment of the Precursor Trilogy, Daxter spent most of his time planning an escape for his heroic partner, mostly in bars. But now it's time to take action. Besides, he had to rescue him in time for Jack too. Jack, hang on, buddy. The story in that game is what happens in the last week or so of Daxter going to save Jack, which is the first thing we see in Jack 2. Well, the first problem that Daxter has is uh, he needs a job. He is out of money. He's not really a very focused individual in a lot of ways. So he ends up scoring a job as a bug exterminator. As you follow Daxter on the job, some familiar and not so familiar faces pop up in all sorts of locations in this full-size platformer. The characters in the Daxter PSP game are mostly new. So there's Osmo, who is Daxter's boss. You're your extermination company. Let me get right to brass tacks, young man. I need someone like you. Someone with your ingenuity. That's me. And there's Taryn, who's kind of his competition, but also his love interest, and you know how that goes. And you're too scruffy to be a creeper. So, what's your game? I could ask you to say, sweet cheeks. And also, a really fun character in the game is uh, Simon, who's Osmo's son, it, who's a yeah. dude. Thanks, dude. Welcome, dude. Dude! Dude! To develop Daxter, we actually used just as much resources as any PlayStation 2 title. The game uh, in total has close to 20 levels. You get to go to uh, places like the brewery uh, and all these places around the city that you didn't get to see um, uh, in the Jack games. You basically get you know, the, the, the story, the cutscenes, all the high quality animation, the high production values, all in a handheld game and all in, in a smaller package but without any compromises whatsoever. As Daxter ventures and battles through this world, check out his cool new moves and even cooler weapons and combo attacks. There are two things about Daxter that we really wanted to emphasize in how he moves and how you control him. We made sure that Daxter can get down on four feet and sneak past enemies, or he can climb walls on four feet. The second thing is Daxter's kind of crazy. And so the moves that he does have to have a certain amount of craziness to it. They, they, he gets really enthusiastic. Lest Dax forget, the main mission is to save Jack, but it's so easy to get sidetracked. There are precursor orbs and skull gems to collect, secrets to discover, and levels to unlock. And at long last, Daxter rules the world. In his dreams, we created some really, really challenging and neat mini-games based on the idea of Daxter taking a nap and dreaming that he's something fantastic. Well, the dream levels were, was a chance for Daxter to fall asleep and become the hero he'd never been. I know Kung Fu. As Daxter will tell you, small things come in great packages. Uh, no, it's great things come in small packages. Anyway, this is a great game for the PSP. Daxter is really the first game on the PSP that gives you a full-blown action platform game experience on a handheld. 
it was a huge undertaking. I think he was he was greater than we ever imagined he was going to be. It's been our whole life pretty much for two years with every guy in, in this place. He has poured everything he had into into this game. Um, Dexter is gonna be, you know, a really big milestone on, on PSP to show what the platform really can do and on it, and I think it's gonna surprise people. I mean, it's a blast. It's been a blast to develop a game for Daxter because he's such a fantastic character. And it'll be a blast to play it as well. <laughs> See you later. I mean, uh, over and out! I mean, 10-4! Or whatever! <laughs> <laughs>